What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be going over how to adjust the noise suppression settings within Zoom, including how to turn them off completely if you don't want any noise suppression, and then giving you an alternative to those options, which is crisp. So without wasting any more time, let's get right to it. So the first thing you're gonna do before you start a meeting or anything else is you're going to come into the Zoom settings, which is of course the little gear icon, come to audio, down to advanced, and we're gonna open this up. And like I said, the first thing that we're gonna go over today is how to uh, turn off any kind of noise suppression whatsoever in Zoom and just use your native audio. So to do that, you wanna make sure that these are disabled, okay, which they are, and then, and this is the important part, you click show in meeting option to enable original sound for microphone. Okay, so once that's clicked, we can exit out of here. And now we're going to start a new meeting, okay? So once you're into this mode and you've joined with your computer audio, okay? Um, so now what you wanna look for is this button up here, okay? This is what uh, turns on the original sound. So we're gonna click turn on the original sound and now this will be your native sound. So there's no noise suppression, anything that you hear. Um, for me, I just actually moved into a new apartment, so it's not really set up, so it's kind of echoey. Um, and I also think I have neighbors who are moving in too, because it's kind of loud. So it's actually kind of perfect for this because we'll see uh, the differences between both of those. So once that is turned on, um, that is pretty much um, all you have to do, and now you'll have the native sound. So uh, just to test this out, we'll do a little, little clap right here so that you can hear just what that would sound like with the native sound. Cool? All right, so now that we've done that one, we're going to uh, turn that off, okay? We're gonna end this meeting. Yep, end for all, end for all, just me, but one for all of them. Okay, so, okay, so now we'll come back into the settings, back to audio, back to advanced. Now we're gonna uncheck this box and we will start with the uh, persistent and intermittent background noise. And what we'll do uh, is set them both to moderate, okay? So we'll set both to moderate um, uh, so that, you know, if you're in an environment that is probably similar to this where it's not crazy loud, but you're getting um, some, uh, some background noise for sure. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but I, I can definitely hear it. Um, I hope I wasn't this loud for the people that were below me because people love me are proper loud. All right, so now we got uh, our Zoom, we're in our Zoom meeting um, using the moderate, um, and inter moderate, persistent, and intermittent noise suppression. So actually that kind of sound for the intermittent should be slightly eliminated, okay? And if we're looking for um, some consistent sounds, what I will do is play a little bit of, uh, of white noise actually. So I'm just gonna play like an air conditioner, which you can see here, okay? Air conditioner going. So this would be persistent and moderate. It's not crazy, right? But this would be um, that example. So that is how you turn on the moderate noise suppression for both intermittent and persistent sounds. Okay, so the first time I exited out of the meeting and went back to the home screen and got the uh, audio settings that way, but you can also do it um, while you are in Zoom. So what you do is you come down to the little microphone here, click the arrow and just go to audio settings. Okay, again, we'll come to advanced. And right now I have the uh, noise suppression set at moderate for both the uh, persistent and intermittent. So now we're gonna go to aggressive, okay? So we'll turn aggressive on. And now this should definitely be for if you get, um, I said like a helicopter flyby not too long ago, so I'm gonna do the clap again, but this time I'm gonna be a little bit louder with it. So apologies to my neighbors right now, but that is an intermittent sound of pretty loud clap. So this is what that noise suppression should eliminate. Um, and that is the kind of intermittent. We're gonna go with another example here of white noise. Let's see, let's pick a... Let's pick a dishwasher. Let's do that. Pretty loud too. We'll turn that on so you can see that is the uh, the dishwasher going noise. Um, so again, 
the, the aggressive noise setting should handle this, but that is how you turn it on. So if you're in a meeting and you know, there's no noise to start and then all of a sudden you get a helicopter that's flying by or you have a barking dog neighbor or somebody is moving in upstairs, you can just slide down here to this microphone, again, click the audio settings and you will be good to go. So now we're actually in here, I'm going to turn both of these off. I'm gonna disable these, okay? And I'm not gonna click this box, I'm gonna leave that off, okay? Um, but now, um, I'm gonna pop up here to my toolbar, I'm gonna to click on the crisp icon. Um, and it's very, very simple. All that you have to do is make sure that the microphone that you are using is selected. So as you can see here, it's the crisp microphone, crisp speaker. That's not so much important, but the microphone is definitely important. So um, once you make sure that is selected, you come up to crisp. It's got the external mic, which is the loud mic that I'm using. And then I just click remove noise. Okay. So now it's using the crisp noise suppression and we're going to do the exact same last two that I did. So a little bit of clapping. So loud claps here. So you can hear what that will sound like if it's intermittent clapping or intermittent noise that you hear. Hopefully it's not intermittent clapping because that's a slow clap for you. And it's usually not a great thing. Um, and then again with the dishwasher rinsing. So as you can see that's on and this is what it sounds like with the crisp noise suppression on. Um, again, it's a lot simpler to turn on because all you have to do is come up to the icon, make sure that your microphone is a crisp microphone, but come up to the crisp icon and click remove noise. So I will turn that off now. So there you go guys. So now you know how to adjust the noise settings within Zoom, both how to use your native sound without any noise suppression and how to adjust the noise suppression settings of persistent and intermittent sounds um, with both the moderate and aggressive settings and with using Crisp, uh, which is again, super easy, one step. And Crisp works for all your video conferencing services, as well as something like OBS, which is what I use to do my screen records. Um, so it is universal and requires just that one step. All you have to do, definitely make sure that you have the Crisp microphone selected because I've done that in the past and it's upsetting. So, um, so there you go, guys. Um, I hope this video helped. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, be well, and we will see you on the next one.